Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com um, where we get high on Galaxy S2 every day. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you how to install a uh, kernel um, on your Galaxy S2. Um, the thing, let me just explain how it works. Uh, basically a kernel is the underlying Linux um, platform on top of uh, not on top on the bottom of your Android so it's it's really running your internals um, the most important thing to remember here is that uh, kernels um, you want to only flash gingerbread kernels to gingerbread um, and ICS kernels to ICS and uh, if you go to XCA threads um, usually it will say gingerbread or ICS and uh, if it doesn't say, uh, it might be gingerbread, just look through the forms, but it should say. Sometimes it doesn't say, and if you flash like ICS on gingerbread, um, your phone will end up in a boot loop. Uh, but it's not a huge deal. You can always flash the correct one over it, um, and it'll work right away. Um, so go ahead and download. If you want to install a kernel, there's a bunch of them on XDA. Uh, I'll include the one I'm using it right now for ICS. I've got actually Resurrection 1.81 here, um, but it doesn't have overclocking, so I'm gonna actually install Sia kernel, uh, which does give you overclocking for, and it's an ICS kernel. So I've down. There's also two ways to flash. Um, there's usually a tar file or a zip file. A tar file you'll have to use Odin to flash. That's um, when you don't have root and stuff, you can flash kernels using Odin. But if you already have it rooted uh, with Clockwork Mod Recovery, then you don't have to do that. You can get the zip file, copy it over to SD card or internal storage, and then uh, flash from Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, the advantage of that is you don't need a computer, and uh, you can also download the kernel straight onto your phone and flash it while you're in the bus or the airplane. So I've copied over the Sia blah blah dot zip file to somewhere in my internal storage um, or SD card actually and I'm gonna go flash it and you can check the version of the kernel you have right now going to system settings and uh, under about phone it'll show you the kernel version um, it's kind of a cryptic language but you can kind of tell this one is actually running cyanogen mod um, kernel you can see so that's a CM, CM9 kernel, uh, but I'm going to go install SIA kernel. So what I'm going to do is go into um, recovery, hold down volume up, center, and the power button. Alright. And the process is the same pretty much across all Android phones. Um, the difference being that getting into the recovery. And sometimes you have different recoveries, but uh, pretty much identical process for all kinds of Android devices. So let me zoom in here and let's go install the kernel that I did. And you don't have to do any wipe, kernel is just there, it doesn't have any data, you don't never have to do wipe. You can install um, different kernels without wiping, which is a beauty of it. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go to install zip from SD card, um, power button or, or the center button. And uh, I put it in my SD card, I think. So choose it from SD card or internal SD card. The process of installing is exactly the same as a ROM without wipe, pretty much. And then I put it in my downloads folder. Uh, power button. Oh, you know, actually it's in my, actually it's in my internal storage. Choose it from internal storage for me here. Um, so many files here. Go to download folder here. And there's my Sia blah blah dot zip that I was talking about that I copied over to my phone. Um, so I'm going to install that. Say yes. This is for ICS only, alright? Only flash that if you have ICS only. Um, go back. This is one of the best kernels, reboot system now. And a lot of ROM developers that are actually including in this ROM, in their ROMs. Um, but I've just manually flashed it so I can have the best of resurrection ROM and also see a kernel and there we go I got a new boot animation um, oh look at that that's freaking awesome boot animation Ooh. 
So sometimes you, Android will automatically update, but so long as you get to the screen, um, check everything works. Um, everything's working pretty much, and you can go to system settings about phone again, and you'll see that uh, my kernel version has changed to Sia um, there. So let me see if I can now get overclocking. System settings. Um, for this ROM, you can go to ROM control and uh, performance. And that way you can get overclocking on anything. So I've got it, I can get it all the way to 1.6 now, which is cool. Um, and there's a bunch of governors that comes with SIA kernel. I like Lowell's active. Um, and uh, that's it. That's how you install a kernel. Um, that, so it's basically kernel is a separate entity from the ROM. So you can install it on any ROM. Sometimes some ROMs will have a problem. No problem, just try another kernel. Um, you know, so that's how you install a kernel. And that can you, that way you, I can enjoy the best of resurrection ICS ROM with um, the speed overclocking I want. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to videotape this while I did it. It could be helpful for those of you wondering how to flash your kernel. Um, and uh, if you have a Galaxy S2, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS2root.com. Uh, GalaxyS2root.com. Um, we send you updates once or twice a week when I have time uh, with the wrap-up of the week the, so you don't get everything that I post but the best ones um, and uh, I don't share your email with anyone else and uh, if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button here for me and subscribe button up here it helps me greatly if you have thanks a lot and share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus uh, anyway stay high on Android folks um, I'll have the resurrection ROM review coming soon. I just wanted to get that overclocking so I can get some real bad performance out of it. Uh, and we'll be giving out Galaxy S3 soon. Sorry, I just got too high on Android over the weekend, and you know what? It's Monday already. God damn it.